Sit and be quiet. We don't want to start a riot. Do some math and read, read, read. Study and read until your face turns green. Read some more. Who cares if you're bored? Listen to what the proctors say. This test is pointless anyway. We test and test and test and test. Do they expect us to get any rest? Forget that. School causes us to get less. Do they expect us to be the best? Or do we all do this and it's just a stupid pest? Sitting on our desks. Calling our name. Is this a frame? Put your name's letters in the boxes. It's time to start the game. Read, read, read. Test, test, test. Filling out bubbles galore. Fail and fail us some more. Test and test and test and test. And they still expect the best. The park assessment is based on the core belief that assessment should work as a tool for enhancing teaching and learning. They ensure that every child is on a path to college and career readiness by measuring what students should know at each grade level. My name is Asiana Fan and I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, what is it? Oh, park testing is like a standardized test that they use now in place of the HSA. It's like a core standardized test. Do you think it would benefit future generations? Mm. From my understanding, it's much harder now. It's more complex in like maybe the way that they um, have set it up. But I think that most people don't do well in testing so I think it's going to be more challenging and I don't think it's really going to benefit children today. Did each essay benefit you? If so, how? For each essay, uh, HSA, it was for um, certain um, subjects so it was only focused on that one part of the test. Um, testing in general does not benefit me. I'm just a, I'm not a very well test taker so I don't do well in that. It doesn't reflect my true knowledge of the subject. Are you aware that park testing costs money per student? I was not aware of that. Hi, my name is Audrey Davis and I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, explain it. Um, I think park testing is a replacement for the HSA. Do you think that it's a good replacement for HSA? Or? Um, what I understand is a lot harder than the HSA, which makes it a lot diffi more difficult to graduate, so I don't really think it's a good substitution for it. Did you know, do you feel as if the future generations could benefit from park testing? No. I feel like it's, I, I feel like it's actually going to hurt them because it's harder to graduate and so our graduation rate is going to go like plummeting. Do you feel that we test too much Definitely. these days? definitely feel like we test too much. Were you aware that park testing costs money per student? No, I wasn't. How do you feel about that? I feel like that money could go to activity buses or anything else. Ready? Yeah. Hi, my name is Eric McClady. I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, explain it. Park testing, I believe, is sort of a replacement to the HSA for grades 9 through 11. Do you feel like it benefits students? I do feel like it benefits students. Um, all testing really does. It helps them be ready for harder courses as they get into later years of high school and college. Which one do you think would be more beneficial, HSA or PARC? I do believe that HSA would be better because the 
student has more time to practice instead of having multiple part tests. Because I feel like the um, time and time again of testing for the part tests can be a little tedious and doesn't allow the child to study efficiently as they would for an HSA at the end of the year. Were you aware that park testing costs money per student? No, I was not. Okay, hi, I'm Spencer Russell. I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, explain it. I'm not really sure what it is. I know it's standardized testing for students. Did you feel as if HSA benefited you? I'd say I benefited because I, I enjoy standardized tests. I enjoy seeing where I'm supposed to be in terms of education. Did you? Do you feel as if the park would be more beneficial for students? I'm not really sure I can say for other students. Uh, testing's always worked for me. Do you know park testing costs money? No, I'm not actually really sure. I just assumed that the school paid for it. Hi, my name is Camilla Puma and I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? Um, from what I heard, it's a, it's a sort of assessment on college and career readiness. That's all I know. Do you know, do you think that HSA benefits more than PARC? Honestly, yeah, because I took the HSA from, from the beginning. Whereas for the PARC, I only took it once and we were just getting things for it. So I didn't know much about it in the beginning anyways. Do you feel as if PARC would help future generations? No, honestly not. Do you? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you feel, as, or did you know how much a park test was? No, not at all. My name is Sarah Elliott. I'm a 10th grader at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, explain it. Park testing, I guess, from what my mom tells me, is basically just testing you to see if you're ready for college. And it's basically just a way to grade the teachers on how well they're teaching you. Have you taken park tests before? I have taken three. Park test. So How far were they? Year. They were pretty pointless. There was really nothing that we had actually learned on there. Did you take an H HSA? I did. I took two. I took LSN and Algebra 1. Do you, which test do you feel benefited you more? I feel like the HSA was more beneficial because it really like had everything in it instead of just certain points of the curriculum. Do you know how much park tests cost? I think park testing throughout the country costs something like $46 million. <laughs> no. Did you know that kindergartners have to take the park test and then explain their answers in 10 words or less? Hi, my name is Ronald Contreras and I'm a senior at Westlake High School. Do you know what park testing is? If so, explain it. I have no clue. Did you feel as if HSA benefited you? Well, I took the HSA. I never took park testing, so I assume HSA is more beneficial. Did you know that the seniors were actually the baseline for park testing? Nope, I didn't know that at all. Did you know that it costs money? No, I thought it was free. State your name and your grade. Okay, my name is Benjamin Booker, and I'm in 11th grade. Do you know what the park test is? No, I do not. Have you taken the HSAs before? Yes, I took one last year, Algebra 2. Is that the only one you took? Well, the biology one last year. So you took more than one HSA test? Yes. Okay, well, park testing is a common core standardized test and it teaches you, or it asks questions that prepare you for college. And it's a lot harder and more difficult than HSAs. Do you think that the HSAs benefited you? Did you know that uh, tests such as PARC cost money? No, I did not. Is it like an AP test? No, it's just a standardized, standardized test that students have to take. Alright, my name is Mr. Heath and I'm a teacher at Westlake High School. Do you know what PARC is and if so, explain it. Um, it's the uh, common core testing that uh, the state of Maryland is doing, um, trying to increase the rigor for um, assessments in high school, high school students. Do you think that it benefits students? 
I think it can if it's implemented correctly as a whole. I think um, right now it's a little bit counterproductive though because I think it's just causing frustration for everybody. What's the difference between an HSA and PARC? Um, I think they're a little bit more, more challenging, more problem solving. Um, there's a little bit more to it than, than the basic. It, it just has a little bit more basic. I think there's just more to the part. So what's your, how do you feel about it? Um, I think it can be a good thing. Um, I think increasing standards is never a bad thing, but we have to make sure we're being consistent across the board. Yeah, done. Thank you. Do you know what do you know what part testing is? And if so, explain what you know. It's like a type of standardized testing. Um, have you taken an HSA? Yeah, I have. How many have you taken? Probably like three. I was at that four. How do you think HSA compares to park testing? Well, I've never taken a park test, but I think park testing is harder and longer than an HSA. Do you feel like it would benefit students in the future to have this much testing? Honestly, no, because testing just like... Some people are bad test takers, so it's hard for them to get good grades on tests, whereas in class they're better because it's not like the pressure of, you know, finishing it in time and like, yeah, the pressure that people put on them during the test. So do you think people should focus more, or the school system should focus more on HSA? In a sense, yes, because they did start doing park testing since like last year, the year before that. And it's like they're just trying to see how park testing is going to be for students. Did you know that park testing costs students money? No. Sometimes, whatever. And? Oh, and? Because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine I said you look so fine that I really want to make you mine